Loading. All right, so let's see here. Level, is it Friday? Date January 11th, 2008. I'm actually going to look that up and see if it is a Friday. Um, location, Classified Operations Center. On your way down to your car, your pager rings. Your location has been compromised, and you are currently under surveillance. As soon as you leave the building, your car will be followed with the intention of killing you. Your car will be followed with the intention of killing you. Something about that sentence is a little bit misleading. You must get rid of your followers and escape safely. You will receive remote assistance, but other than that, you are on your own. It is important that you escape safely and you are not followed. You will receive further instructions as soon as you have safely left the building. Oh, maybe escapes. No. Good luck. Alright, so we're actually getting into the game now. Path the tutorial. So let's uh, start it up. So, as you can see, uh, all the... So, uh, as we can see here, uh, Trace carried over from the previous myth mission. Score and all that came over here. So here's our map of the area. So we've got the street. So we're local hosts. Uh, we're in this building here. So let's take a look at the messages. From root at xenti.com or dashcom.net. Reducing your trace level. Every time you perform a hacking related activity, your global trace level increases. When it reaches 100%, you lose the game. You can reduce your trace level in two ways. Using the kill trace command, it costs you money, and connecting to the servers you have hacked to delete the logs using the delete logs command. Yeah, we have done that before. So, a uh, message from Root again here. A subject, your first step. Hi, Brian. They are monitoring, monitoring all cars leaving the parking place where you are and check the license plates. They are monitoring the cars leaving the parking place where you are and check the license plate against the public car registration service database. And check. That's, that, that sentence, it, it starts in present tense and then jumps off to, like, a. Uh, Never mind. Disable the server to disable the server to be able to drive out safely. To do this, type cracked pcrs.citycom.net 999. All right. So we're out of the tutorial. Uh, now the first level it doesn't totally step back completely. It uh, it still guides you a little bit, but it starts to you know take the training wheels off, we'll sort of, sort of say. So uh, so it's basically telling you your first target. And we'll start with the first target. Uh, we'll do what it says. So we'll go scan. I like scanning because I like to know everything about it. So, scanning pcrs.citycom.net, we see it's got two services. We've got HTTP, and it's running a remote access. Um, no encryption, um, and the HTTP is unprotected. So it's probably just, uh, you know, it's a public site. So, but you know, let's log in anyways. So connect PC, just because... Uh, hacking is all about curiosity, so let's, um, 8080. So it's got, we got the, um, public, uh, the, uh, the message of the day. Welcome to the public car registration service. For any questions related to the registration of your vehicle, please call yada yada during regular business hours every day from blah blah blah. You may also contact us through email at public at pcrs.citycom.net. Anything in there? Index new. So let's go cat index.new. Um, a registration management interface is currently offline for maintenance. Please check back shortly for resume service. Okay, same deal. Alright, so nothing real important. It's, uh, it's just a neat little add-on, we'll say. So we'll log out. Um... And let's actually crack into it now. PCRS. Disconnect. Ten. Nine. Alright, so we're seven, cracking six, into five, oh, what is it? Four, three, two, Public one, Car Registration zero, Service zero, Database. Hi Brian, excellent job. Now connect to the server on port nine 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 and disable the database by deleting the database kernel file. Type the following commands in your console. Da -da 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 -da. Wait for each command to finish before typing the next one. Yeah, no problem. So let's connect PCRS 999. So we connect to the remote access. Uh, so I'm going to go ls, and the only file in there is your database kernel. Um, it's a little bit interesting that a kernel file would be 
the only file accessible through a remote access. Um, I guess. Anyways, um, now you can go ahead and cat database it, but it's as you can see, it's just uh, well, what you would see as sort of gibberish. They kind of just put that in there to make it look like, oh, look, it's a system file. So let's go delete database. Incoming transmission. File deleted. <laughs> okay, notice the card that is highlighted on your visual map. No, I don't. Are you talking about this one here that's hidden behind something? Or this one here that... Let me see here. It's the person following you. There's a traffic light at the corner of the street through which you will leave the parking space. Hack the control system to make the light become permanently red. To delay him. To avoid being traced, set up a bounce link by clicking on pcrs.citycom.net. Then type crack. TT control 45 citycom.net to, to hack the control system. Alright, well first... Uh, first of all, clicking never seems to work for me, but I'm going to scan CTRL. Why? Because I like to know what's what's up with it. So it's password protected. It's five characters. Um, one character too much without being able to bounce. So, uh, for manual override. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and bounce. PC. So we're now, we added that, that host. Has that been added to our bounce link? And we're gonna crack CTRL 45 uh, port 49. Oh, I gotta log out of what am I almost, uh, what I'm in already. Let's try that again. Uh, but yeah, like it, it's giving you help here, but um, that will go away. Um, the very next Ten, mission, nine, pretty much, nine, it, it really starts nine, pulling nine. back and letting you um, do your own thing. Um, all right, so I'm, uh, I, I'm, I cracked it. Uh, you know what? Before I go ahead, jump to there, I'm gonna turn off my bounce to PCRS um, nine nine nine. So. I'm going to Connecting. delete my logs. Searching. Make sure to keep my trace level as low po as low as possible. All right. So now that I've um, cracked this uh, control, this uh, street light, we're going to connect in. So connect CTRL, and we're going to connect to port forty nine. Connecting. Alright, so we're in here, so let's take a look. Uh, connected to automated control system override interface, read drill RGN before running drill or emergency procedures. So let's take a look. We got multiple files here. We got control green, control red, control yellow, drill RGN, and light controller. Well, let's do what it says. Let's go cat. Um, and I, okay, actually, I'm going to read the message here. Now connect to done. There are five files. You may view them by typing ls in your command console. Done. To view the content of a file, type cat in the file name. Read through the contents of the files and see which file you must delete to leave the light on a permanent red. This one is easy to figure out. All right. So, well, it says to read drill, so let's read drill. System maintenance and backup staff, default procedures outlined in blue book one section yada yada, direct offline drill initiation request to node.citycom. Net zone admin node.citycom.net. Okay, so that's right here. Online tests or follow offline request protocol alert district services 24 hours before drill initiation. Flip hardwire light control master. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just check light controller cat light dash controller. Okay, so we've got some, uh, looks like some uh, programming here. Error checking. If exclamation mark, so if the file does not exist, let me see if I'm reading this right. If file uh, exists, control red. So if this file does not exist, control red, red on. 
and then halt the script. So basically, what this statement says, because it's got the exclamation mark, if I'm reading this right, um, if, you know, a check is checking if a file does not exist, control red. So if control red doesn't exist, it's going to put the red light on, and then it's going to stop the script. Um, now the, the script normally would go, you know, if the file exists, control red, yes, if it's on, then red on, delay 30 seconds, then red off, and then it jumps down to the next one and the next one. But because the script will start right up at the top, and we're looking at error checking, if the file does not exist, um, then it's going to go ahead and uh, always be red. So, uh, you know, that's actually something they probably should have explained, um, you know, in some sort of tutorial. Um, I know this because I actually do some uh, programming myself. Um, so let's go uh, delete control dash red. And, uh, Incoming transmission. File deleted. You will have a pretty hard time following you now. Before you leave, it would be a good idea to get your hands on some cash. There's an ATM machine across the street. It's, it's encrypted, so you'll need to decrypt the key before being able to hack it. To do this, type decrypt. Yeah, we've been over that. Next, hack the server on port 9999. Tip, use a bounce link to avoid being traced. Yeah, no problem. Um, but yeah, uh, that's, that's something that actually bothers me a little bit. Like, your average person who's going to be playing this game... Uh, you know, the dreams of being a hacker, you know, necessarily doesn't know anything about programming. Uh, so it's a kind of assuming that, uh, you know, the person has some sort of knowledge of what programming means. Because, uh, to be honest, I think your average player would look at this and go, huh? Um, uh, and I'm not trying to say, you know, your average player is stupid or anything. It's just, you know, it's, it's like <laughs> you say anything about cars to me. Heck, I don't know anything about cars. I'm, I'm car stupid. I gas it up, you know, I know how to change a tire, but, you know, I'm car stupid. I, I'm a nerd, okay? So, um, you know, it's just a different specialty. Um, I don't mean it, I don't mean any offense to anybody. Um, but yeah, but the, the fact that it says this one is easier, easy to figure out, you know. Anyways, getting off topic here, so let's delete my logs. Delete logs. Searching. Um, any cash on any of these? Nope, nope. So we want to get into that ATM, and we have no bounce links in right now. So, let's log out, uh, and as it shows up there, encryption key is 128 bits, so um, I'll just need one bounce link. So bounce, actually, 128 bit. I don't think I'd actually even need a bounce link, but you know what? It told me to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. Uh, decrypt ATM. Yeah, see, I'll have pl I, I would have had plenty of time. Don't actually need to bounce it, but I guess it's doing that to uh, just sort of teach you, or you know. Complete. So my trace level's up to 56%. I'm not crazy about that. Scan ATM. Um, so it's password protected four characters. I don't need a bounce for a four character password. Crack ATM. Who would have only put a four character password on? Oh, anyways. Um, crack ATM central bank dot com nine 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 nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. This one always comes five, right down to the wire. Four, three. Two, one, zero. Incoming transmission. Now, if it uh, if they would have traced me before, like it's it's so down to the wire, it's you know it, you, it's hard to tell. You know, did they trace me? Is that why mine jumped up so high? Whenever you crack a password, it typically brings your global trace up by about fifteen percent. Um, if you're detected, it brings your global trace up by fifty percent. Big jump. Um, so I know for a fact that, you know, a four-character uh, password can be cracked without a bounce link. Um, so, scan ATM, we got one port to log in, so let's go connect, oh, as it says in the message here. 9999. So in order to obtain money from the ATM, you must connect to it on port 9999. Type connect, what I just did. The next step is to transfer money. Transfer it in cons three consecutive chunks of $1,000 to avoid being traced. Type, you know, 
Transfer 1000 to transfer the money into your account. When you are done, use the logout command to disconnect from the ATM. Now, uh, it says to only take $3,000, but if you take a look here, uh, it actually has $4,000 in there. And you know what? I'm going to take all four grand. Uh, why? Because I can knock down my trace with that. Um, and in later levels, I'll be able to actually, uh, you know, upgrade my uh, computer. Um, so let's go ahead and transfer 1000 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Complete. Again. 10, 9, 8, 7, Now, if I did it all six, in one shot, five, um, four, what would three, end up happening is... Two, I, I, I would definitely get traced. Ten, nine, eight. Um, seven, you can only uh, six, now you can only transfer five, four, funds from three, a server that you have two, hacked one, all of the ports. Ten. Um, nine, so, like some, eight, uh, we'll see later seven, on in the game, some six, servers or some five, hosts rather, four, um, they've got three, money, like lots two, of money on them, one, um, but you can't actually get to it unless you. Uh, there's like multiple services on there, so even if you crack into one of the services, you're not going to be able to get access to all the money there. So let's go to um, let's delete logs. Searching. Knocked it down by 16 percent. Not bad. Uh, is there anything else in here? Zen ATM plug Let's see. What's this do? Uh, unpacking. Da, 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 extract. Pass. 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 Status. Running. Reporting. Receiving. Alright, I don't really see anything here that um, can be used for game purposes, so uh, I'm just going to log out. When you're doing use... Okay, so use the logo command to disconnect from the ATM. Now at this point here, uh, we've got this here, which is 2-45.gsm, uh, which I'm guessing is uh, either cell tower or the actual cell phone. So you know what, let's actually, uh, let's get curious here. So notice that we have no more directions on what to do here. We got the money, we got out, so let's actually uh, take a look at that node here. So let's go scan node. Password protected, eight characters, no encryption key. Eight characters, uh, it's above four, so I'm gonna need to use uh, a bounce here. So bounce, PCRS, and let's go um, crack node.city column.net um, port 80 and we'll wait for that to crack um, now what I am going to do um, is because you know your trace level does Ten, carry on from nine, level to level eight, uh, seven, it's possible six, that I might mess five, up in a previous four, level uh, three, and it'll make two, you know a future one level that much more difficult. I'm not sure if it'll make it impossible. Um, I don't know how well they, they play tested the game. So I'm going to actually keep a regular backup. Um, just in case. Because the last thing I would want you to do is you know watch me play through this for a few hours and then realize I screwed up earlier on. Um, in which case I would just catch up you know, using my backup and then start recording from then. So uh, let's see. I'm in. So connect. Uh, node and port 80. Connecting. There's an error log. Well, let's check out the error log. Uh, so cat error uh, log. Huh. IP ban enforced, domain restricted. So, um... We got an IP address. I'm not sure if uh, it'll let us check that. Let's try it. Scan 166.26.34.179. No. All right. So there's nothing that's um, really relevant to the game, uh, game or gameplay here. Um, all we've got here is. An error log, so basically it looks like at this time this client tried to connect 
uh, and it was looking for a data log. A data, so it looks like a file's missing. Looks like a file was deleted. Um, that's my guess. Searching. So we'll delete logs, uh, and we'll back out. Um, so there's only one pl thing left to screw around with. It's that two dash four five. Uh, and let's take a look here. Encryption key of 256 bits, so I'm going to need to at least make one bounce. And I'm going to have to do it to, uh, to crack this password. Now, I'm at 75%. Mm, yeah, I should be fine. Uh, so let's go bounce. Let's bounce off CTRL 45.citycom.net. So let's go decrypt 2.45. So, uh, it's a .gsm, so I know that has something to do with cell phones. Um, don't ask me what it stands for, I cannot remember if it likes me. Um, Ten, it's been a while nine, since I've done any sort eight, of tech support or anything seven, with cell phones, so... Alright, so it's been decrypted. And uh, I've still got my bounce link through one host right here. So let's go ahead and crack 2 45 port 80. And now I'm cutting this really close because after that, it's probably going to jump my trace level up to about 95. It's going to turn red and it's going to be. It's really where you don't want to be. But we took an extra grand out of the ATM, so I'll be able to knock that down. There we go. So, hi Brian, my name is Brian. Um, connect to the cell tower and look inside the handset pool file. Look at the target map and use your logic to figure out which cell phone from the list belongs to the person following you. You'll find its host name in its channel control file. Use the scan command to discover the host. Alright, easy enough. Uh, so, um, I don't need to bounce anymore. Let's just connect to 2-45.jsm. Yeah, so we are connecting to a cell tower here. Um, oh, what port was that again? 80. Connecting. So I'm going to delete logs. Searching. It drops me down to 85, which is still not where I want to be. But so we got a call dropped out log. Um, we got a bunch of different things we can look through here. So let's um, let's start reading here. Cat call drop. Stop from the top. So calls drop. So call disconnect error codes are stored for 24 hours. Disconnect data is only a guide to system failure. So. Host name, channel, that dropped. Uh, bounce query, overflow, 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 drop, timeout, timeout. Alright, let's try a handset pool. Now, uh, what you could do is you actually could go ahead and scan every single one of these channels. Uh, but I want to do this a little bit more, we'll say, um, methodically, rather than just uh, randomly, you know, as a pool. Uh, rather randomly just you know scanning everything so hence it pool file below is the list of mobile devices attached to this cell tower the list contains the channel slot IME number IMEI number and the type of each connection devices that are moving signal level changes constantly are marked accordingly uh, you may view additional details in each channel control file uh, that is located on the server so um, this is actually important that we still read the, the, this file here and you'll see why in a second so we see this IMEI number is variable, it's always moving, so it's probably some guy driving. Same here. Uh, and leaving the bottom one, but this one here, this guy's IMEI number, and that's the number that's typically attached to a phone. Um, you know, it's kind of like a phone's serial number. Um, so the IMEI number, stable, fixed, it's probably the guy who's parked down the street. So we see he's on channel 3. So, you know, how can we just scan for channel 3? Well. If you look up here, we have the host name right here. So we're going to go scan channel 3.45.gsm. 
Hmm. He's not there. I wonder where he went to. So let's let's take a look at the, the files again here. Uh, let's take a look at this error log. Lost connection to channel two. Camera thirty-five. Thirty-five dot citycom dot net. All right, so that's that's uh, another server, and I don't really think that one's necessarily um, that one's not really uh, necessary to beating the level. You just need to discover it. As you can see, there's no files on it, there's no money on there, and it's got a pretty good encryption key. So um, we're gonna leave that one alone. Um, so let's see what else can we look at. We've got channel three. Why don't we take a look at channel three? So we'll go cat channel because we know he was on channel three. Okay, so we got a different host name here. Let's try this one. Scan channel dash three dot two dash four five dot gsm. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. As you can see, he's right down here. That's buddy. That's parked. You know, not too far away. Um, so that's a pretty big encryption key. Five hundred twelve bits. Um, that's going to require at least two bounces. And this, both passwords, at 16 characters. That's actually pretty, uh, actually, yeah, dang, that is pretty, uh, crazy. So, well, we got that information. Searching. Oh, I've already deleted logs. Okay. So we're going to log out. Uh, we're going to go kill trace twice. Let's take a look at the uh, reduce the global trace level below fifth, uh, fifty percent. See now, the, you have to look at the objective sometimes because you'll miss stuff like this. Hack into the cell phone, uh, into the cell phone, and download the call log file. So we're, then we're going to have to upload that to the zenti-com.net server. Um, so actually. Based on that, let's go scan zenti-com.net and we have it appear up here. Um, oh, it's got some money on there. No encryption and there's one open port. Hmm. Alright, well, you know what? Let's leave that for now. Right now, let's try to get into this phone. So I'm going to need uh, at least two bounces. So bounce ctrl, and let's go bounce node.citycom.net. So we got two bounces, and let's go ahead and decrypt channel 3.2-45. Grab something to drink while I'm waiting for this to go through. Uh, later on in the game, you can get upgrades for your computer, and it makes this stuff go a lot by a little bit quicker. You know what's good? Jones soda. I like Jones soda. Yep. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Cross your fingers. Six, five, four, three. Two, one. Ah! <clears throat> All right, so now one of my one of my uh, hosts, this one here, has no bounces left. So you'll notice I've only got one host left. So I'm gonna have to bounce through the ATM here. So bounce ATM, and um, we've got two different ones. We've got uh, GRPS dash uh, underscore link and IP-GSM-Link. Um, so I'm going to assume that this one here, the IP-GSM-Link, is the um, one we want to get into. I'm assuming. Um, just because it's got IP in there, so it's, 
Um, I'm guessing that this has something to do with, um, you know, we'll say an internet access more of its uh, main use. I don't know, we'll try it. So let's go crack. Uh, channel. Port 99. And once again, we gotta wait for this to finish. Now, there might have been a clue to tell me which one to connect to, <coughs> but um, I obviously missed it, um, if there was one. Um, if not, you know, we still got plenty of cash. You know, we got five thousand dollars there. Um, so, you know, we'll just use kill trace to knock our uh, trace level down. Uh, this this mission here, like I said, is uh, Ten, it's still holding your nine, hand a little bit, so it's eight, it's a little bit night. It's seven, easier on you than six, some of the later missions. Five, four, three, two, one, complete. All right. So let's go connect. Uh, He's got money on his phone. Hehe, <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> you know what? Because he's got money on his phone, let me just kill Trace again. And I figure, you know what? Let's go ahead and crack the other port. We're gonna go in there too. Uh, yeah. Because we need to crack both of his uh, both of his uh, running services so that we can get to his money. And you know what? Heck, I'm gonna hack into this because I think this guy is helping me out. You know, Zenti-com.net. But you know what? He's got 500 bucks in there. I want it. <laughs> so let's get let's get some uh, easy cash. Let's hack everything possible. All right, so almost done. Like, how do you how do you keep nine, money on your cell phone? Eight, seven, six, like I'm not even sure exactly five, how that makes sense. Four, three, two, one, complete. All right, so now you're mine, buddy. So let's go connect channel, and let's see if my guess was right. Let's go to channel uh, port ninety nine. Searching. No hand to shake secure connection unavailable. Let's see what you got on here. Handshake dot, dot config. I was wrong. Oh well. Um so we'll just connect to the other port. Connecting. Uh LS. Call dot log, so let's go. Download call dot log. Downloading. Complete. Searching. All right, let's actually read this call log. All right, nothing I can really use. So let's log out. So we got to. Oh, you know what? No, reconnect. I'm an idiot. Connecting. Uh, let's go transfer. One thousand. Oh, I left my bounce in place. Oh well, I'm pretty much done. Uh, we'll take the other five hundred. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. All right, so, um, so we're gonna scan Zenti. Dash com dot net and we see we've got two. We've got an unprotected public FTP file transfer protocol, so that's basically um, a server set up so that we can um, upload stuff to them. Um, password protected. To, holy cow, 64 characters. You know what? Screw it. Uh, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to try to get that uh, 500. Um, let me see. Four characters. You can do it without a bounce. 8, you need 1, 16, you need 2, 32, you would need 3, and 64, I would need 4 bounces. I don't even know if I have that many bounces available. Uh, no bounce left. So I got a bounce here. Uh, no bounce here. So I got a bounce here, a bounce here, and no bounce here. Yeah, I'm not going to bother getting that other 500. Uh, so let's first.
And as you can see, we've got my global trace level below 50. So now let's log into um, uh, information disappeared because it was using kill trace, but let's uh, connect to xanti.com. Uh, I know port 21 is your default FTP port um, in real life, so. There we go, see? So, um, LS, you've got a call log in there. Wait, I'm able to connect to port 21. There's no service running on that port. Really? Okay. 25. Um, I might be mistaken. Oh well. Um, public FTP for upload of non-sensitive data. Sensitive. Sensitive. Ah, uh, you know, the typos in this game just make me giggle. Um, FTP quarantine. Remote access 999 exploit. Cat FTP quarantine. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try something actually before I upload that. Let's log out uh, and let's look at our own hard drive. We've got the call log that we're gonna upload and we got a remote access exploit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and go exec, execute, remote access exploit. Oh, and I gotta put the server name. Uh, let's try. D-com.net. Success, service password has been disabled. So now when we scan Xenti, it went and cracked the password. So I can now get into remote access, port 999. So we use the exploit to get in. That's actually kind of uh, kind of pathetic. You know, a public FTP, you put, a, you put a, an exploit to get into your you know, your remote access uh, server. So let's uh, try it, see what they got on there. Oh, what am I doing? Xanti port 999. Chat indexer and manual override 49. I have a feeling that this exploit here was to be used something else used in something else in the level. That could have probably saved me some money, because every time you crack, you know, it jumps up another 15%. Alright, well, future notice. Look for exploits. And especially with anything uh Xenti related, because uh that's apparently where your buddy's working, so we'll go cat in Oh, cat. Cat indexer. Not important. Downloading. Searching. Log out. Alright, so let's go ahead and connect. Port 25. Upload. Call.log. And there we go. Mission completed. Um, so I'm going to hit no first here. I'm going to make sure everything's completed here. Yep. Um, 2,000 in my account. I've got four grand. So we are we are good. Um, I didn't get the money out of Xenti. Um, so let's go transfer. Ah, oh, no! Oh well, you know what? It still drops me down to 40, so it was worth getting an extra 500. Um, 
Alright, congratulations, you have completed the level. Type next level in the command console to proceed to the next level. You may continue to explore the level for another 10 minutes, after which the next level will load. Alright, well, you know what? I'm good, so let's go... Next level. Congratulations, level completed successfully. You know, I was a little bit slower in this one, so I didn't quite get under 30 minutes. So let's go. Score. Money. Da 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 da. Level time, total time. I've played this for over an hour. Special achievements. Level completed with 0% global trace. I wish. Found all servers on the level? Yes. Alright. 500 score points. Dynamic game with the fleet. Alright, so enter and advance to the next level. So next time, we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, start up the next level. Alright, so until then, um, well, enjoy uh, maybe some other of my videos or just hang in there. Uh, there will be more coming.